everyone, welcome back to Old Grey Books. I'm Ali. Today you might be able to guess because I'm sitting here, but we're doing a Shop My Shelves for July. So uh, I have already picked out three books that I want to read. Uh, I'm working on a project that is also kind of a blog post because that is how I get things read sometimes is by being like okay I'm gonna have this blog post posted on this date so I have to read this book because otherwise I can't have that post up and then I have to come up with a different post um, so I'm working on reading all the books that I bought in 2018 because I had like 18 at the start of this project and now I'm down to like 14 and I'm reading a bunch at the moment um, but I picked out two from that list to make sure I get to in July um, and hopefully I will be able to get through the others as well but we'll see. Um, so for fiction I went with Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nagan. Um, I started reading this at the very end of 2018 and I just couldn't get into it. I got 150 pages in. Um, but I want to start it again because I think it was just the mood I was in. I was just struggling. Um, so let me give that one a go again. And then for non-fiction, I'm going with I Am, I Am, I Am, which is 17 Brushes with Death by Maggie O'Farrell. Um, I, yeah, I've had this one since 2018 and I really want to read it. Um, I have somewhere here, I have um, Maggie O'Farrell's new book, Hamnet, um, which I am planning to get to as well. So I think I'll give this one a go and then compare her fiction to her non-fiction writing and we'll see how we go. And then uh, I also wanted to reread one this month. This is Green Rider by Kristen Britain. Um, way back in, I think probably about 2014, um, my friend Sarah and I did this thing where we like swapped, uh, books and then we read through the list and this was one of the ones that she gave me that I read and then I really loved it and like a couple months later I found myself a copy. Um, so I... This is a series, I read this first one and never continued, so I really want to reread this because I was thinking about unhauling it, um, but I did enjoy, I remember really enjoying it, so I want to reread it and see if I still feel that way. It's a female written, female led fantasy, which is the type of fantasy I enjoy, so I want to give this a go and see if I still like it. But, um, I still have two to pick, and, um, I don't really know what to go for. I want to do one male author from here, and then maybe one of these older ones, because I feel like with these newer ones, I don't really have to put them onto these lists, because I just automatically read them because I, I buy them so I want them. <laughs> These ones that have kind of been sitting on my shelves for a while, I, I don't know, I'm just not as good with getting to them. Let's, this isn't a super old one but let's go with this. This is Jasper Jones by Craig Sylvie. I was supposed to read this for L slash Aussie April and I started it and I just didn't finish it um, because the chapters are all like 50 pages long and yeah, it was an investment. So we're gonna, we're gonna finish that one off in July. And then I kind of have some big books there. Maybe we want something a little smaller. You know 
let's just go with this one. This is Hair in My Mouth. This is uh, Don't Look Now and Other Stories by Daphne du Maurier. Uh, it's short. I love du Maurier. So let's give it a go. And The only thing I hate about these editions so much is on the text, like the font is weird, and there's also like no margins. Like I would have preferred a bigger book with like proper margins. So yes, there we go. There we go. That'll be my TBR for July. Um, hoping I can get through those. Um, at the end of July, I'm gonna do a little like three month wrap up of the last three shop my shelves that I've done. So May, June, July. And I will talk about uh, what I've read, what I haven't, and then my plans, I guess, um, going forward. So yeah, I will see you all next time. It's either my book haul or my wrap up. That will be my next video. I haven't decided yet, but I will see you all then. Thanks for watching. Bye.